Hi, I'm Brett. Today we've got a great opportunity to show you what an ECU does when you do different types of exhaust systems on your car. So this particular car is Toyota 86. It's got a bimodal aftermarket uh, rear muffler. And what we're going to do, we're going to run the car up with the mufflers closed, which is the quiet mode. And then we're going to pause and we'll pull another run with the mufflers open. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the reaction of the engine uh, ECU with the effects of knock correction. Now knock correction is the way the ECU responds to the back pressure change in an exhaust system, typically on this car, but also on a turbocharged car, it's more dramatic. So let's watch the dyno run first and then we'll talk about it at the end. So now we're going to open the rear muffler and we'll run it fully open with hardly any back pressure. That's really loud. If you want to know what a Toyota 86 sounds like with a straight through exhaust system, there you go. So what we're going to drop in now is a sample of the data log out of the um, Ecotec race ROM technology that we use to save the information as the engine is running through the data port out of the engine control unit. And you can see in this graph the difference of the knock correction. So what you're seeing is the engine's ECU reaction to changing the knock correction, which is the spark advance when the exhaust is either open or closed. So what you've got to remember is when you're asking us to do a tune on your car with a bimodal exhaust, you may have a Ford Focus RS that comes factory standard with aftermarket options so you can control it, or you may have an aftermarket bimodal exhaust for even a Subaru WRX. When it's in the open position, of course you've got less back pressure because the exhaust can flow more, so you've got um, less effects on combustion pressure, which we can tune for. But if you close the muffler to make it quiet, you're immediately introducing a huge restriction to the exhaust system, which then introduces an effect on the combustion pressure, which then results in the engine ECU having to change and try and map it for what was originally tuned for when the exhaust was open. And that's when you then see massive changes in knock correction. Now on a Toyota 86, it's normally aspirated. The effect is measurable but not as dramatic in engine reliability. But if you're running, say, a Focus RS where you're running up to two bar of boost, we're talking over 25 PSI boost with a whole hell of a lot of heat, then you can start introducing a real element of unpredictability in the way the engine will respond and a risk of engine damage. So I'm not gonna go into detail what actually can happen, but it's an example in this graph to show you the difference between an open and closed exhaust and why when you choose to get it tuned, you need to decide which one you're going to choose for. And there are people who will say, look, you can have a, a, uh, a switchable map or this, that or the other, but look, let's be honest, not always people flip maps. And we do offer dual maps on different sections of different cars, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is to make sure you drive the car for the environment it's tuned in, for the parts that it's tuned in. If you're making modifications and changes, all of those things have to be taken into account to give you the best performance and the best reliability. So. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Make sure you check out our latest website, mrttuned.com.au, and um, we'll give you some more updates in the future. But for now, my name is Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.